Tonight, a congregation in Fayette County is grieving after a horrific car accident that took their pastor and his wife. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us for Action News 5 at 5. I'm Kelly Cook. After devastation struck the Kirk Baptist Church, they didn't know what was next. Their pastor, Bobby Mullins, and his wife, Wanda, both died in a car accident in South Haven last week. But today, members of the congregation gathered for the first time since then to remember their fallen leader. Griffin Demeray was there and joins us now with Reaction. Griffin. Hey, Kelly, it was a really emotional day. A lot of people crying and hugging, but the message was clear. Don't stop spreading the good word. Do what uh, he really wanted in his heart, knowing him. He, I mean, he was a go-getter. It was clear Sunday at Kirk Baptist Church that the members were pushing through the pain. Their leader and pastor, Bobby Mullins, lost his life earlier this week. And Monica Burroughs was one of those members who said he's in a better place. So we're all sad about Brother Bobby and Wanda being gone. The truth of the matter is that death is just an invitation from God to his palace. Charles Pratt was the man charged with taking over the first service back since the accident. And he asked the members what they wanted to do. And the answer was clear. Uh, it came out real quick, like uh, he wants us to go forward. He wants us to keep doing what we were doing, and hopefully that some of these things will work uh, effectively and, and grow this church into the church it needs to become. Burrow said during the service, she heard a reading that really stuck with her, and it's one that helps someone get through loss. Death to the righteous man is God's invitation to the palace. They, they are with the Lord, and, and if we know him as Lord and Savior, we'll be with him one day too. The Mullins family posted on Facebook on September 5th, asking everyone who read their update to, quote, take a moment and evaluate where you are in your relationship with Jesus Christ. It's just a really sad day at the church, but it's good to see everyone coming together for one common goal. In the studio, Griffin Demeray, Action News 5.